Good morning, everyone. Thank you. It's really an honor to be here um, and get this opportunity to meet with all of you. My understanding is a lot of you are musicians, music students. Yes. Yes. All right, what are you guys playing? What's your instrument? Sing? Singer and piano. Singer and piano? Guitar? Guitar. Guitar? Trombone players? Two of them? Okay, cool. Trumpet players? Trumpet? Trumpet then? Cool, all right. Um, I play trombone mainly, and I play guitar also. But that's why I asked for trombone players, because there's not many of us in the world. So it's really important to find your musician friend. And, um, so what I'm hoping to do is maybe talk a little bit about careers in music, a little bit about Berkeley College of Music and what we do, and then talk about a really special event that's going to be happening here in Santo Domingo in January. Berkeley's going to be coming to do a week-long program. Um, so um, I thought what would be really good for me to share with you is I could talk you to death about Berkeley. I've been there for almost 20 years. Um, but the story of Berkeley can really be told best by um, our students and what our students do. So what I'd like to do is show you a video that was created by our students. Everything, the music, the video, the production, all of it. It's called Rhythm of the Universe, okay? But music is the only thing that can unite the world.
Love, go, give me everything you are, yo, my heart is low. You are the argue about the world, but I'm in the verse. I'm trying to show you all of me that I'm the first. too as far as the work of the industry is that all of these students that are involved in this were taking on different responsibilities and different jobs. Everybody was writing. Everybody was helping to produce, to organize, to coordinate this whole operation, to produce the video, to edit it, to create the whole web presence. They have a website. Um, they have social media you know, that's out there that you can check out. In the work that you do as musicians, as you go forward and you start to figure out what you want to do in your career, a lot of what's happening is very interactive. And you know, I, I, I'm guessing that the music that you enjoy is not just music that you listen to. It's music that you see. You want to be in. You want to be in the room when it's happening. So everything that happens is captured visually. And there's a story behind it. And you want to be part of the story. So in the creative process and in your studies in music, you're thinking about all of these different facets of what it's going to take to be you know, a professional artist or a musician or a person in the business and in the industry. And this is what Berkeley is focused on for you know, uh, almost 70 years, is this idea of developing the total musician. And the total musician is, is somebody that's able to understand all the different pieces you want to be the boss, right? You want to control your creativity. You want to control your music and control the pathway for your music. And this is something that the college is able to um, share with you and teach you how to do. So how many of you are familiar with Berkeley, know about Berkeley's history? Yeah? What do you know about Berkeley's background? He's a visiting artist at Berkeley, and he's done amazing work with our students, and he also 
has a scholarship in his name for Dominican students. Um, Roger De La Rosa, yeah. guitarist, is there, and his sister Helen is there as well. As a, there's, I think, nine Dominican students there this fall. So, out of the international population, Berkeley is a unique place in the world of music education. Most of the time when we go to study music, we study two kinds of music, classical and then jazz, right? So that those, typically most institutions around the world teach these, and there are amazing institutions everywhere, including here in Santo Domingo, the National Conservatory, the university, they have excellent music programs with fantastic teachers. The thing that Berkeley did differently was they decided early on, the founder, Lawrence Burke, said, well, there's a need in the commercial music world, radio, television, live music performance, and everything that we didn't even know was going to happen in the internet in the future. We can teach people how to be professional musicians based on the music of today. We can teach you how to be a really good musician learning pop music, jazz, funk, R&B, hip hop, blues, whatever it is, as well as the traditions, classical music, jazz, all of these things. But we took a different pathway. And as the college grew, it absorbed all of these new developments in the world of music, including music technology. You know, how many of you use Ableton? Ableton, live, Pro Tools, Logic, all the technology. Your, your instrument is now your computer. Cubase, it's your iPad. It, you don't need an instrument to play. You can create wherever you need to create. So this is a development that Berkeley has followed throughout its, its uh, evolution. And we teach that. We teach it in, in a few different ways. One of the ways we teach it is by coming to, um, that's me. Excuse me. Sorry. Um, we teach that by doing special programs like we're going to do here uh, in January. So Berkeley and Santo Domingo is going to be what we call a Berkeley on the road. We're going to bring the Berkeley classroom to you for a week. And we're going to have amazing faculty members and guest artists here teaching. And in the morning, you're going to do things like harmony and improvisation and instrumental technique. And then in the afternoon, you'll play in ensembles, and you'll have special lectures on things like composition, songwriting, all of that. In the evenings, we'll have jam sessions, we'll have faculty concerts, we'll have panel discussions. It'll be a very good snapshot of what it's like to be a college student at Berkeley. So we'll bring that here. We do this all over the world. Um, but it'll be the first time that we're doing it here in Santa Domingo. And it's thanks to the Ministry of Culture and Juan Luis Guetta, who really came forward to support this, and Michelle Camille. We've been talking about this for a while, and this past year, all of the uh, stars aligned for us to do this. Um, we also have programs in Boston that we call summer programs. And you can come to Boston for three days to do a workshop for brass instruments or saxophones and woodwinds, where you could do a week-long program in percussion or guitar or songwriting, or you can stay for five weeks and do what's called the Five Week Summer Performance Program, which is like going to college for five weeks in Boston in the summer. It's amazing. It's what we call musical saturation. You know that word? It's music just pouring on you for five weeks. Um, we have an online school, Berkeley Online. And Berkeley Online, there's two parts to it. Berkeley Online is a place where you can take singular classes, a class in guitar, a class in film scoring, a class in music business. There's over 100 classes there. In the United States, the Berkeley Online School is actually one of the best online school, not just music school, school in the United States for seven years. It's amazing. The, the, the system is fantastic. I've actually taken these classes in Pro Tools because I didn't know Pro Tools and I needed to learn this, so I'll well, do the online class. It's very challenging, but it's excellent, excellent work. Um, we also, starting in September 2014, will have two online bachelor degrees. 
in music business and in music technology. So you can actually stay here and get a bachelor's degree from Berkeley online. Okay. Um, and of course in Boston, at the campus in Boston, we have the undergraduate programs. And there are 12 different pathways, or majors we call them, uh, that you can follow. Performance, of course. You can do different kinds of composition, songwriting, film scoring, classical composition, jazz composition. Um, a thing we call contemporary writing and production, which is writing for music, music for media, television, everything. You know, writing from a, a rock band to a studio orchestra. You do all of that. We have electronic production and design, which is music synthesis. It's sort of sampling and using computers and software to create music. Uh, music production and engineering, of course, being an engineer and a producer. And then we have um, music education, music therapy, using music as a healing tool for um, people that uh, are needy, that, uh, you know, elderly people, people with, uh, you know, um, different kinds of issues, and that music can help them to uh, heal and get better. Uh, music business, of course. Um, and then a thing called professional music, where you work with an advisor and you sort of develop your own major. So those are the things you can do in Boston. You can, you can do two majors at the same time. You can do minors and things like that. You know, Africana studies, Latin studies, psychology, you know, all these different things are offered. It's a, it's a very robust liberal arts program with the core being the music education. Um, at Berkeley, the, the basic philosophy is that everybody's a musician. You have to, you're going to get a bachelor's of music degree from the college when you complete your studies, but we, we need you to do a core course in music. So you're going to be a proficient musician no matter what you go and study. And the philosophy is if, if you're able to be a really good musician, then you're going to be better at that thing that you're doing. You're going to be a better music business person, a better um, film composer, a better engineer, because you know what it takes to be a performing musician. And then in Valencia, Spain, we just opened up a new campus. Um, so Valencia, Spain is on the, on the coast. It's a beautiful city, and in the City of Arts and Sciences, which is this amazing complex, Berkeley has um, a new campus and we're doing master's degrees. So you can actually start at Berkeley and do anything from like Berkeley and Santo Domingo all the way up to your graduate degree. And you can do that in Spain one year, a one year master's degree in performance, in global music business, in um, music technology and innovation, which is sort of you know, getting into the new evolution of what's happening in music technology. Or writing for uh, film, uh, film scoring, film, media, and video games. You know, video games, of course, is, you know, it's all the rage right now, and there's a lot going on there. Berkeley actually has a video game orchestra. So it's an orchestra with acoustic instruments and electronic instruments, and they, they, they play the scores from video games, but they also write new music that could be used for video games. It's amazing, they've played at Boston Symphony Hall. It's, it's ridiculous what they're doing. It's really another student project that's, that they created. Um, for those of you who are getting close to graduating, how many of you are going to be graduating soon, maybe looking at places like Berkeley? Um, the application process is actually pretty easy. Um, you're going to go online and fill out, oh, you killed me, that's all right. Um, you're gonna fill out the application form. Um, we're gonna collect some information about your musical history, and then you're gonna pay an application fee, and we're going to invite you to an audition and an interview. And Berkeley's gonna be doing auditions and interviews here in Santo Domingo in January. So those of you that are looking to go to college in September of 2014, you may want to consider looking at the application process now and um, be applying, completing your application, and selecting Santo Domingo as your audition and interview location. And then the third part is, of course, the paperwork. It's the transcripts, recommendation letters, and other documents that you want to submit to the Board of Admissions for evaluation. Those of you who are songwriters or composers, you can actually submit your original compositions and your recordings, and that can be included in the evaluation. And what the Board of Admissions does is we, they review all of this information 
and they select students to be accepted to the college, and then from those students, they select students to receive scholarships, like the Michelle Camilo Award, which is a full scholarship to Berkeley, full tuition scholarship. Oh, this is really interesting. So these guys here, um, that's the horn session for Justin Timberlake's band. It's uh, Kevin Williams, uh, uh, Leon Silva, tenor player, and Sean Eric, from the player. Yeah, they went to, we went to, we were there in Burton, Boston, and they're a trip, great guys. Um, and then, you'll see it in a second, they'll come back around. Yep. So th that's the horn section for the band that's touring with Justin Timberlake and Jay-Z. And this is Melissa Aldana, she's from Santiago, Chile. Uh, Melissa just won the Thelonious Monk Jazz Saxophone Competition, which is sort of, in the United States, it's the, the top award for a young jazz artist. And all of the finalists this year were Berkeley graduates. It's, it's scary. The, the level of talent there is fantastic. And she's an amazing musician, a uh, great young lady. Uh, but when you go to the website here, you can uh, click apply, and, and then you'll be able to go and do the application process. Um, the audition and the interview, um, I'm sure all of you are working with your advisors and your counselors as you're applying to colleges, and you'll be learning about this. And it's really important to, you know, before you apply to Berkeley, is to take a look at the website and learn about the programs, learn about the teachers, talk to some of the alumni to find out what their experience has been in order to prepare. Because when you come in and you do your interview, we're going to ask you really two things. Are you sure you want to do this? And what are you going to be able to contribute? So that first question is really important. Um, having a, a studies in music and trying to develop a career in music takes um, a great deal of commitment, of course. And it's making sure that your, your knowledge and understanding of what the college has to offer is the right thing for you. So that's what we're asking. And that second question, as far as what you're going to bring, as you saw from that Rhythm of the Universe video, that's the kind of stuff that's happening there. So what are you going to contribute? How are you going to be part of that community? Because being part of that community directly results in your opportunities when you complete your studies, actually before that. The music industry works in that way. It's a community. People know what it is that you're able to contribute, and they're going to want to work with you if you're doing things that are really positive and at a high level, okay? Um, the interview, uh, the audition piece is uh, a performance audition, and so we're gonna have you come in and, and play with us uh, in an audition, and we're gonna ask you to do four things. You're gonna need to prepare a piece of music that you like to play, anything you want. It could be an original composition, it could be a John Petrucci solo, it could be a Dave Weckl solo, it could be a Miles Davis solo, it could be a Tchaikovsky piece, a Chopin piece, whatever it is that you're into, okay? Um, it's your music. The second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jam with you. We're gonna improvise together. It doesn't matter what your musical background is, if you're a classical musician, if you've never improvised before, or if you've done a lot of improvising, no matter what the style is, we're gonna jam. Because we know that we can learn a lot about your musical experience that way from, you know, just sitting down and playing. Um, the third thing we're going to have you do is we're going to have you read the little black dots, right? Um, so, you know, eh, it's not that hard. You know, it's just something, you get a chance to look at the reading in the warm-up room before you come in and play with us, okay? So, it's not like, we're not trying to scare you. We're just trying to see what it is that you do. And the fourth thing we're going to have you do is we're going to do some ear training. And the ear training is going to be call and response. Let's sit down at the piano and play something and have you sing it back. I may play a chord and ask you if it's major or minor, diminished, augmented. Is it a minor seven? Is it a major seven? Yeah. Uh, we'll do like a, we'll play a game. We'll do like a musical memory test. You know that, that game, Simon, with the four buttons? Right? Yeah, like that. So we'll see how long you can remember a line. Because these are, these are all things that we have to do when we play a gig. And you know, when you go out and play a concert, you typically have to be able to do four things. You have to have been prepared. You're going to be able to make some stuff up. You have to be able to improvise a little. You're going to have to read a little bit. 
and you have to be able to use your ears, right? So that's what the Berkeley audition is. You can't fail it. It's not a pass or fail test. All we're trying to do is get a musical picture in that moment of what you're doing as a musician. Because if we know what you're doing now, then we can guess where you're going to be in a year. In two years, we can see what your potential is. And that's what we're looking for, is what is your potential. If you're this old now, and you've been studying for this many years, and you can do this, if you come to Berkeley, we get all these great teachers and all these cool opportunities. So in a year, you could be, who knows? I remember when Melissa came and did her audition, I did her audition, and I remember hearing her play. She was a fantastic young musician. And here she is five years later, and she's won the top musical honor for a jazz musician in the United States. So it's pretty cool. Um, let's see, really quick before we go to questions, can we just go over to the Berkeley, Berkeley and Santo Domingo program? So Berkeley and Santo Domingo, um, if you Google this, you can find it. Uh, Carlos is going to get it up on the ministry's webpage as well. Um, but you can read about the program and what we're going to be offering. Um, and then you can apply. And in the application, we're going to ask for some basic details. We're going to ask you about your musical background. And we're going to ask you to give us links to at least three examples of your playing. And it can be anything that you want to submit, but we're asking that you know it, it features you. If you're a singer, if you're a guitar player, if you're a tuba player, you know whatever it is that you do, um, we want those links there. And we're going to be reviewing all these applications. And on December 2nd, we're going to make the announcements of who's been accepted. The great part about this program is that it's free if you're accepted. The bad part is that there's only 150 spots. So um, apply early and often, and uh, and then we'll get back to you um, in, on December 2nd. The program will begin on January 7th. We go to the 12th. Okay. So you'll be able to get those details there. So questions about Berkeley, about music, about music careers. Uh, for vocalists in the improvisation piece, there's a couple of things that we'll do. We'll ask you, have you ever studied improvisation? Okay, cool, let's write a song together. And so one of us will sit down at the piano or a guitar, and we'll start playing some chords. And the chords will be in the nature of like a standard pop tune, you know, basic diatonic harmony, right? Um, we're going to want you to sing just using syllables, no lyrics. Because what we're looking for is your inventiveness of a melody. And then we're going to start changing the chords. And we're going to see if you can follow us with your melody. Okay? And so these are the, it's just a, a song, it's like a songwriting exercise. And in that moment, we'll be able to get a sense of a few things. Your vocal quality, your support, your intonation, and then all those things about the musicianship piece about the idea of coming up with a melody, rhythm, how you match the harmony, um, how inventive you are with that. Yeah. So that's what we'll do. In order to apply to the Berkeley, you need to actually know much about music or maybe like maybe an electric. Yeah, I mean the idea is that um, Berkeley is a place you come to develop on your skills. So there's a there's sort of a, a core um, sense that you're going to have studied your instrument for at least two years, um, that you're doing some playing. You're playing either at your school or in, up in, pro, in you know, projects outside of school and bands, um, and that you're demonstrating some fundamental strengths on your instrument uh, as far as the instrumental piece. Then there's all the other stuff. There's the interview. There's the information that you give us that tells us the story about you and why you want to be at Berkeley. When you come to Berkeley, we'll teach you all the other stuff. But we need that, that core piece of uh, musical strength to be there to build on. Okay?
This is what I did, but over these last few years, I've been doing this, and you, know, you can tell us I use DVDs, I use YouTube, I use these books and materials, and that information is really helpful for us to get an understanding of what we're hearing when we hear you play. Yeah, for the program, yes. The music should feature you. So what's your instrument? I'm a drummer. You're a drummer. So um, you have three opportunities to showcase what you do as a drummer. So when you listen to drummers, what are the things that you appreciate about drummers? Specifically. What are you listening for? Ability. Yeah, time. Groove, different styles, right? Not all the flashy stuff, but that. So what I would, you know, consider if I were a drummer is I would, I would pick probably three pieces that show three different kinds of my drumming style. Maybe something that's up tempo and a little more complicated. Maybe something that's a little bit slower and groove oriented. And then maybe a third thing in a different time feel. Maybe a waltz. Maybe. Um, if I've been doing rock and jazz, I do Latin, some sort of Latin group. You could do it all solo, just you playing. It could be you with a bass player or a rhythm section to show that you could play in an ensemble. It's whatever is the easiest for you. The important thing is to give us a pretty wide, you know, array of style in of what your skill is, right? So a, a, a range of your experience. Okay, does that help? Videos. Should I like? Should it be a video where I show my face? <laughs> no, you should put a paper bag. No. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. No. We. I mean, we. We definitely. It's, the idea is we're listening, and the idea of the video is um, video seems to be easier now than audio. You know, it, it, and you can put audio links up. You can put SoundCloud up there as well. But video is a little bit better for us. Yeah, as of last night, we just looked this morning, there were 60 applications. Yeah. And, uh, and the second you are, I mean, I didn't put all the links, but I used one of the links. I have two, two songs. You know I yeah, I understand. So what we'll probably do is follow up with you and ask you for a couple more links. Okay, because like the, the second URL, instead of, instead of filling in the third one, the second I sing two songs. Which I'm not singing alone, though. Yeah. So we need to we need to get something that features you, right? Okay. Yeah. So that's going to be better because if you're part of a choir, yeah, I was, I was actually, unless you have a solo. I do have a solo. quality if it's audible and it's not breaking up then it's fine yeah you know as long as we can hear what's going on When you're, when you're going to go and do an audition, unless there's a prescribed list of pieces of music that you have to play, um, in the case of Berkeley, we're asking you to demonstrate what you really like to play. 
so the choice is yours. Um, what I tell musicians is, if I were going to come to a concert and hear you perform a show, you know how you organize your music in a concert, you build your program? There's, the, there's always that piece of music that's the pinnacle, it's the high part of the concert, right? That's the one you play in your audition. Because that's the one you feel the most passionate about, the one that you've probably worked on the most, that you feel the most comfortable performing, typically. So that would be the piece I'd play. In, in Spanish or whatever, language you like. Sure. Do you mention the uh, requirements for the Well, there's two things, right? There's coming to Berkeley as a full-time student, which is the admissions process. So there's the application form, the audition, and the interview, and all of the documents. For Bar Berkeley and Santo Domingo, it's only this application form here, and that's it. No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're going to ask you about that in the application. We're going to ask you what your level is in reading music, and we want you to tell us because that's going to help us know if the program is the right match for you. Yeah. Oh, a remix. Oh. Um, no? Like a, a like a medley, a medley. Yeah. Well, you, you could do that. Yeah. 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 You could do that if if you want. It's, the thing is, it's you. As long as it features you, you get to decide what you want to do. Yeah. Exactly. You could. But we also have three links. So, read the description of this program and see if that's the right choice. Because this program might not be for electronic musicians. Okay, so you have to make sure that, you know, if you're interested in studying electronic music, you might want to do a Berkeley online class or you might want to go to Boston. This program may not be for you if you're going to do electronic music. It's a performance program that's focusing on ensemble playing. song is. Um, I'll give you an example. If you're a guitarist and you play a rock band and you do a Nirvana cover, right, which is great music, but it's really hard unless you're playing in a trio format, right, where you're the only guitar player. So that's, so you're going to be really sensitive about the music that you pick so that you make sure it features you. If you play music that is, um, that, that you're part of an ensemble and you can't really, and you're not soloing, and that becomes a little bit more of a challenge. The only exception to that is if you're a pianist, or a drummer, or a bassist, because typically in an ensemble, you're going to be the only one of those instruments. Okay. Yep. Sure. Yeah. Right. So it, again, it's something that you have to decide if that's the right piece to feature you. So. Um, for 
example, if uh, what you just said, material, like right? If we, if I have a full band, right, and we're doing like a conversation, and each each one of us has like a, a part where we have a spot, like you can say it like that. Yep. Is that okay? I can use that. For example, if we yeah, need, absolutely. Just think think that. about it. You know, if if, uh, if you're doing a full band performance, um, we're probably going to get at least with Berkeley and Center the Domingo, we're looking at about three to 500 applications, we're not sure. So we're gonna only have a little bit of time for each of your files to listen to what you're doing. So if you play a song, and the part that you're featured in is like three minutes into the song, we got a problem. So you, you need to make sure that you, when you're gonna be doing something, you're a solo piano, so right from the get-go, it's you. So you have to make sure in the piece of music, you know, take it out, Throw it into Audacity, clip it. You guys know how to use Audacity? Okay, right, and then put up the sample. Of here I am, it's, you know, faded in, and then faded out. You know, you guys know how to do all that. So be really, really conscious of what you're doing because of, um, you wanna make sure that whoever's listening to that is like, bam, here he is, right? Uh, no, uh, you don't have to do that. I would say three to five minutes at the most, but that's only if you're being featured for a whole three to five minutes. You know, think about it. When you're listening to music, how long does it take you to know whether or not you like it? Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds is pretty good, right? Yeah. So thirty seconds. So make sure that you know it's something that you're really, really conscious of what you're doing, so that. Um, all of your examples are listened to and you're given, you know, a really good evaluation based on what you're doing. Whatever, if I don't play, if I don't play any instrument, I'm just a singer, and I have like to play. Absolutely. Voice is an instrument. Voice is an instrument. At Berkeley, we have over 1,100 vocal students. At Berkeley, we have over 1,100 vocal students. We also have over 1,100 guitar students. Drummer's about 700. And piano players around 700. Piano players. It's crazy. It's a, it's a triangle. Yeah, no, we have, the, the, we call them total percussion students. So you have to play triangle, you have to play the timpani, and the xylophone, and the marimba. And we give you, a, when you come to Berkeley, we give you the big triangle. Um, no, we are. Yeah, you, and we have percussion. So you do hand percussion. You have to play piano, and all that. Yeah, serious thing. Harp. We have harp students at Berkeley. We have great harp students at Berkeley. That's a great question. So most of us play more than one instrument. So on the application, we're going to ask you for your principal instrument that you're going to want to study in the program. But you can showcase that you play other instruments on your recording. If you accompany yourself, many of you have computers that you can do things where you're um, recording a backing track in GarageBand, and then you're singing over it or playing over it. So all of that's legal. Yeah, but you're only going to be able to pick that one instrument. So, Yep. Absolutely, whatever you want. It's all legal. You know, again, what we're trying to do is figure out what it is that you sound like. So however it is that you get to that, it's um, it's good as long as you're playing live and then recording. Okay. Um, this is not the program of the university. Sure. If I was only a songwriter, like I don't know how to sing, I don't know anything. I just know how to write. Mm -hmm. uh, they, I still be able to apply you have to apply based on an instrument. So what's your instrument? Okay, so you're, you would, when you apply to Berkeley, you decide, is your primary instrument going to be voice or guitar in order to get accepted? But then when you come to Berkeley, you're gonna declare your major, which would be songwriting. And then in the songwriting track, you're gonna be given the opportunity to study both of your instruments as well as songwriting.
Yeah, so um, at Berkeley in Boston, there are two majors that help you sort of focus on writing for video games. One is film scoring, the other is electronic production and design. But there's a minor that's called writing scoring for video games. Okay, and, and it's actually you know we work with um, we work with USC, we work with a few universities around the United States where there are programmers writing the code for the video games, and then they work with the Berkeley students in the minor who are scoring the music for the video games. So you actually get really um, you know practical experience you know, working, so writing the music, actually scoring for a game, working with programmers and working with designers. And that's, um, you know, we have, we have Berkeley alums working for EA, for Atari, for, you know, a lot of different companies um, scoring and in, in programming. And it's right, you know, it's, it's a huge business right now. Um, so yeah, that's, and what was your other question now? Sorry. Yeah, so the video game thing is big. Oh, it's, and then in Valencia, you can actually do it as part of your graduate studies. You can focus on it as part of the graduate study work. Yeah. What else are you guys thinking? What about music and, and uh, careers in music? What kinds of jobs can you do in the music industry? Okay. So you're thinking your your work would be that of a producer, no, no. an engineer. Kind of music like, uh, I, I want to have a, a producing project. Okay. And uh, to play my music. So you want to be a performer and a recording engineer. So which is different from a producer. What does a what does a producer do? <laughs> but what is what is that? They, if you for example, you give me a track. They, for example, someone comes to my studio, they record a track, and I help them to uh, it's, like, it's like editing. It's like, so there's some editing. Yeah. I want to. You're gonna record your own music. Yeah. Okay. Usually, it's basically someone that makes a song. For example, you have the lyrics, and I make the track, and I'm the so you mean, so there's a, the, the technical element of recording it. So does the producer help to arrange the song? Yes, yes. Does the producer help work with the vocalist to work on the melody and work and pick the instruments that might be going on the recording? Well, yeah, so how do you develop it? I mean, what's, what, is it, what, is it, what is the development that can happen? So if you brought a song to me, um, what would be some things as the producer you would ask me to do for you? Yeah. yeah. Put together the harmony for the song, the arrangement. For example, if you're doing, if you're performing a song, and you're playing, and you want to send to have a harmony in your mind, you want to send to So that's a technical thing. So that's what an engineer would probably help do. Right. Yeah, music production and engineering. You learn how to produce. It's included in the major of music production and engineering. Yeah. Music therapy. Yeah, Berkeley College of Music was the first institution in the United States to have a music therapy program. Um, some examples of music therapy would be working with Alzheimer's patients, elderly, uh, people with Parkinson's disease, um, young children. Uh, in Boston, we have these amazing hospitals that treat young children with cancer or um, some, students, some young kids that have terminal disease um, and that they're not going to recover from. And so you go in and music, you know, just working with somebody, you know, playing a drum, playing guitar and singing, there are different therapies that can be applied that can actually, you know, help um, help people actually heal. And for those people that have a, a long-term disease, it can help make that disease not as um, negative. You know, it helps them, you know, work through the disease. And so, in, in Berkeley, um, in that program, you're, you're going to study a lot of different things. 
you have to learn how to play different instruments because you have to be able to play percussion, guitar, piano, sing, so you can function in different environments. Um, you have to learn a lot about um, medicine, about psychology. Um, you're going to do practicum work where you're going to be working in hospitals. And then the program really encourages you to go on and get your master's certificate, certificate um, in music therapy or in social work and things like that so that you can actually work as a licensed music therapist in the United States. It's a, it's a really interesting um, career path that's developing and people are starting to recognize the value of that. Um, and then the chair of the uh, music therapy department, Dr. Suzanne Hanser, is, is a leading you know, specialist in this field in the world. She's amazing. They have great teachers there. So contemporary writing and production is, um, is the major that Berkeley started with. It used to be called commercial writing. So after the Second World War ended in the United States, all of the music in the United States was live on the radio, and then this television came out in live performance. And so they needed people to do two things, to write the music, and then they needed people to play it. And this is what Berkeley was founded on, is teaching people how to do this. There were so many people coming back from the US military, um, the economy was changing, things were getting better, people were going out more, they wanted to be entertained, they wanted to feel better, and music and entertainment is where it's at. So as this career path has evolved, um, contemporary writing production now is doing everything from writing for media online. A lot of times you go to different websites and there's different advertisements and there's music. Writing television commercials, like for Crest or Wendy's. You know, seriously, you make a lot of money doing that. Um, cell phone jingles or rings. All the music on your apps, right? Um, writing anything from, you know, we have a lot of people that work out in Los Angeles. You guys see those shows like X Factor and American Idol and The Voice. Do you know there's a live orchestra playing? Do you know that a lot of the arrangers and the performers in those bands are Berkeley alums? So they need somebody. So you're, you're, you're a, a contestant on The Voice. And so this week you're going to come in and you're going to sing, you know, um, what song are you going to sing for us? Hero. Hero. Okay, I'm going to sing Hero. So we need to do an arrangement for that for our band. So we've got a couple of hours to write this arrangement to get the band rehearsed. And then when you get up on stage, you have a live. So that's your job. So there's somebody writing and arranging this, got to come in and conduct the orchestra, and then you have the musicians that are playing it live so that you can do your live performance. You know, this is an interesting thing about those shows. They do have live bands that are performing in the orchestras. And you have you know, all these big shows like Cirque du Soleil, and you have these big touring um, shows that are going on, you know, musicals and, and uh, rock musicals and things like that. Glee, we have Berkeley alums who are working on Glee as writers and arrangers and performers. So contemporary writing and production helps train you to do everything from writing for a solo artist to a studio orchestra. Studio orchestra is a combination of a string orchestra and a, and a big band. Right? It's kind of like a pops orchestra. So you have to learn everything about orchestration, about how all the different instruments sound and how to put it all together, to all the technology. Because you're going to be writing and producing it. You have to go into the studio, you have to conduct, you've got to record, you've got to mix electronic instruments with acoustic instruments. And so that's what you learn how to do in that program. We're going to go. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm going to go to the airport. <laughs> well, thank you.